you know, after the decade of the reign of terror that was the Cena era of WWE, I was looking forward to it finally winding down and the company finally hopping off his cock and him going off and doing other things and hoping deep down that he was successful in other mainstream ventures because that would mean we would see him less and it would allow the company to move the hell on. And thankfully, that has at least happened. When Cena's back, he's not back very long. He's in something, it kind of matters, but it's not so overwhelmingly forced down your throat like it's the only thing that matters to where strategically now they've created a situation where Cena's not the thing that aggravates you or annoys you the most. So... But after all that time, a decade of dominance, a decade of a reign of terror and destruction on the company and the product, I was so looking forward to finally getting to this point in time where Cena isn't that top dog anymore, and he's not anymore. And I was hoping that maybe at that point in time that the next guy that they would find, the next guy that they would christen would be better. He would be more palpable to a larger percentage of the audience, even though knowing because that guy, whoever it may be, would be christened as that guy, unless it wasn't one of a couple of guys, ultimately there was going to be a major resentment, specifically if that guy did not previously spend years on the independent scene. If it wasn't going to be a Punk or a Daniel Bryan or a Seth Rollins or somebody, the guy automatically, no matter who it is and what talents he does or does not have, ultimately was going to put him at a significant disadvantage. And that's basically what we've got with Roman Reigns. And, you know, all the things we saw with Cena all these years. And let's just cut through the bullshit here. They're doing a lot of the same things with Cena now with Reigns. Now, they're different performers. Cena had more personality. Cena could sometimes pull a decent promo out of his ass. Reigns doesn't have that personality. He doesn't have that natural it factor to him like that. He doesn't work the mic well, you know, those type of things. But he's also better in the ring as a performer. To me, clearly. Slightly different, but still featured and presented in a very similar way. Although I can attest to, or at least assert, that when Cena was the unquestioned dude, this company did far more to protect him than they did with Roman Reigns currently, even though they do do a lot to protect him. There's no question about it. They still, to me, after all this time, they kind of stick the head and maybe half the shaft in, but they don't go balls deep. They're not ready to cream pie yet, which is ridiculous because we're now four plus years into clearly trying to make him out to be the top dude. But, you know, all the annoying things, one of the most annoying things about Cena was nothing pertaining to Cena necessarily, just him as a person. It dealt with the concept of a heel turn and turning him into a bad guy. For so many years, the WWE always consistently pushing him in the same way and presenting him in the same way, not changing his music, only changing the color of his, color of his ring gear, but nothing else. He didn't change the style, the way he worked, nothing like that. And if anything, especially in the past couple of years, it's only gotten worse because he seems like he gives no fucks, and that's not necessarily a good thing. But it's always talking about the heel turn, and you know the company pretending like uh, turning him into a bad guy would be a bad thing. You know, talking about how it doesn't matter because again, after the decade of Cena's reign of terror, now the WWE has fooled themselves into thinking that they are in the reaction business. So, as I've talked about in a previous video on this channel in the past, you can't turn Cena heel because the company doesn't work like that anymore. They only care about the reaction because they will fix it later if they need to in post-production. They will sit there and pretend like it doesn't matter. They will call the fans bizarre and all that other crap. They're getting a reaction. They don't care. And we've now gotten to that same point with Roman Reigns. But of course, it doesn't stop a lot of people in wrestling and specifically fans as well from talking about the need to turn Roman Reigns heel. And the simple truth of the matter is, just like it was very similar with John Cena, turning Roman Reigns heel is a stupid idea. And here's why. Not from the fundamental concept of 
needing to shake up or change the character or actually present him as a bad guy to try and go that route to organically get him back over as a good guy someday. No, there are a couple of reasons why it's a stupid idea. Number one, as I referenced earlier, was Cena, same thing with the Samoan Cena. As long as he gets a reaction, that's what the company jerks off to. That's what the company loves. That's what they care about the most. Whether you're booing or cheering, as long as you are reacting, then they care. And they know deep down that you care. Because if it moves you enough to cheer or it moves you enough to boo, it has still moved you. And until enough wrestling fans either A, stop going to these damn WWE shows that Roman Reigns is featured on to send a message, or B, if they happen to go not reacting at all to Roman Reigns and his work, his segments, his matches, then putting the WWE in the uncomfortable position of not knowing what the fuck to do because they're in the reaction business and they're getting absolutely no reaction. No, no, no. Fans are stupid. They're going to go and then they're going to piss and moan and boo and try to hijack the shit and it doesn't matter. Like all this time they haven't figured out, oh, duh, it doesn't work. So I'm going to keep doing it anyways. Isn't that the definition of insanity or one of them? Do the same thing over and over again and expect the result to be any different? Like how long did you try to hijack Cena? Shit didn't work, did it? Tried to hijack Reigns. Shit didn't work, did it? Does it? No. The answer is very simply no. And as long as WWE has convinced themselves they are in the reaction business, then as long as you continue to react when you go to these live events, they're not going to feel a need to do it. They just aren't. Number two. This whole notion of turning Roman heel... I've talked about it over the years, talking about when in doubt, heal him out, put him in a suit, and you got a chance. The reality is, when you look at the whole landscape of the WWE and wrestling as a whole, the old traditional idea of a heel doesn't seem to work that well. Because frankly, if you try to present somebody as a heel and they do it well enough, or they try to be cool while they're trying to be a heel, your hardcore smarkier fans are going to cheer the guy any fucking ways, which defeats the whole damn purpose. Defeats the whole purpose. And then also when you look at WWE, what makes you think that they could book Roman as an effective heel? What makes you think that Roman would be comfortable working as a heel? Especially as a top guy, as a singles guy. What makes you think that the crowd would gravitate to that, would react to that in the proper way? What makes you think that any of it matters? I mean, what, what is it? Because I'm just at a complete loss here. It feels like after all these years of talking about the same shit with Cena, now we're going down the same freaking path with the Samoan Cena in Roman Reigns. And we don't learn our lessons. And you really have confidence and faith in the WWE that they could effectively book Roman Reigns as a heel? The bottom line is, whether you like it or agree with it or not, the reality is, if WWE isn't bought into the idea, if WWE doesn't want the idea, and they don't choose to make it happen, it's not going to happen. And I cannot see how Vince and or Triple H are convinced that Roman works as a heel. Therefore, they will not do it. Or if they did, it would be so haphazard and pathetic just to hurry up and immediately make him baby face again they're just not going to do it number three when you want to talk about having a family friendly face of the company reigns has stepped into that cena spot so they're going to be transitioning to him being the make-a-wish guy they're going to put him out there and send send him with his pretty hair and his muscles out onto mainstream tv with his little smile and everything because they feel like he presents himself well he represents the company well why would they rock the boat on that? Because you need to have a guy like that at the top, especially for the WWE and who they are and what they try to be. Especially with the transition to Fox for SmackDown and the bigger money deal that they're getting from NBC Universal to keep Raw on USA three hours on Monday night. You're going to need a guy like that. Number four, whether you like it or not, Roman moves merch. He might not be the top merch seller, but he's one of the top dogs. He absolutely is. Just because you haven't bought a shirt doesn't mean that he doesn't move merch. He clearly moves enough merch in order for them to continue to push him at the top. Because if Roman Reigns didn't sell any merch at all, or he was well, well, well underperforming in the merch category, eventually the company who believes very bigly in merch sales... Uh, being a major part of their financial portfolio, uh, they might actually stop him from being the top guy. But they don't because he still moves merch. So again, whether you want to believe it or not, whether you buy into that or not, you got plenty of kids and some adults that are buying Roman Reigns gear. 
So why would they sit there and potentially hurt that marketplace by turning him heel where those adult fans that like him the way he's currently presented would maybe not buy the shirt and the kids because he's a bad guy now would no longer buy the shirts all for that because you're reaching out to a small segment of your audience which has gone larger in recent years for no other reason by default because you have a smaller audience so you're appealing more and more to that smarky hardcore type of fan base what makes you think that they would automatically buy a shirt with him turning heel same thing with Cena. a lot of those guys would still not be caught dead wearing that shit so now you've undercut a revenue stream uh, for your company and for Roman. It doesn't make any sense. Number five. And this is the most important thing of all to keep in mind. He already is a heel. Not in the traditional sense of the way he's booked and the way he's presented. Talking about the end result. This is the whole thing with Cena. You can, you can make this shit up in your own mind. Whether you want to cheer him or whether you want to boo him. But the type of reaction that he's getting and the amount of booze and hate that he's getting, he's already a fucking heel. And again, for the company that thrives on and lives for the reaction, you are giving them that reaction anyways. Why would they shake up anything? And if anything, again, the way you're presenting Roman, similar to Cena in some respects, makes him an unlikable character, an unlikable guy. Then why would they need to do anything? And when you listen to the crowd and you hear the boos, clearly he's heelish already. Why would you shake up any fucking thing whatsoever? Especially because at the end of the day, ultimately, especially the adult fans and the hardcore fans are going to boo and cheer whoever the fuck they want, no matter who they want to. Like the WWE could take an indie hero and do a great job of booking him as a heel and presenting him as a heel and giving real reasons for him to be a villain and real reasons for people to boo him. But the know-it-all stupid fucks will sit there and cheer his ass because he liked that and that's cool and that's awesome. No, you're hurting the guy's chances of getting over, you stupid fuck. It's designed to go one way. And if you want him to make it in WWE, knowing how petty, stupid, and foolish the WWE freaking is, then you should play along if you care about the dude and the talent. You should stop cheering him. You should start booing the fuck out of him if that's the case. But they wouldn't do that then. What makes you think they would cooperate with Roman? They probably boo him less and they're not going to cheer him anymore because it's Roman. So at this point in time, you're kind of shit out of luck and stuck to the game on that one. But all these people talking about heel turn. God damn, we just got over a decade of this shit. Do we really have to sit there and talk about this again for another decade with a whole different dude? It doesn't matter because you can look at it. He's already heel. And if you don't believe that, turning him heel is no guarantee of anything, especially with the way WWE writes books and produces their talent. Now, what the fuck gives you the in the incentive to believe that this would be a rousing success? And truly, what matters most to the company is the reaction. And as long as you continue to give a reaction, the WWE does not care what that reaction is because they can manipulate it and they can eliminate it when they need to. So, for the love of God, can we take off the fantasy booking hats and the woulda, coulda, shoulda bullshits and just understand that Roman Reigns turning heel is stupid because if you don't believe he already is one, which realistically he is, the fact is changing shit up lessens the reaction. That's not good for the company. Not good for Roman. Not good for the product. Yes, ideally, you could go old school and book him as a hateable guy and people would get behind it, but the hell makes you think that would happen. So please, 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 people, can we just stop talking about Roman Reigns turning heel? Just after a decade of bitching about it with Cena, can we finally learn by now that this shit's not going to do any good. It won't happen because the WWE doesn't want it to happen. So all you're pissing and moaning about, especially when you're still going to the shows and paying for tickets to sit there and react, which is the one thing the WWE wants you to do. Pay money to go to the show and fucking react. As long as y'all are doing that, ain't shit going to change. Period. Get over it.